She and her brother wandered away to look for gold, and it nearly cost the 12 year old her life. Lily Baker is out of the hospital and for the time being talking in small phrases about her near fatal experience at Helen Hunt Falls. I was just like walking over the edge because, like, I wanted to see if I could get back down to there with like just walking. It's still hard for Lily Baker to speak in full sentences. Due to the head injury she suffered in the 75 foot fall last Sunday, she has three fractures in her skull, one in her nose, and two in her ankle. She's freaking out about how she's looking right now. But that's a 12 year old for you. Lily brought tennis shoes on Sunday, however, left them in the car and wore sandals instead. Her mother was a little ways behind and didn't see the fall, but heard people screaming immediately after. Along with the paramedics who airlifted Lily to Children's Hospital in Aurora, Amber is grateful to two men who rushed to help her at the scene. You don't see it very often these days, unfortunately. I don't even remember any of that you did. And, yeah, and she doesn't remember. It took her um, two or three days to even remember anything that had happened. I don't even remember waking up in the hospital. But her memory is slowly returning, and her brain, like her bones, is expected to fully recover, although it may take two to three years of therapy. We had a guardian angel or two watching over her. Get a proxy. Days later, at Helen Hunt Falls, there are signs warning others about what happened to Lily in hopes of avoiding a similar spill or worse. Now, to help with her recovery, friends and relatives are now contributing to a crowdfunding website page. She won't go back on the same day as the rest of her classmates, but once they make some special accommodations, she will return to school.